life is expensive. And if you're thinking about making a move, then you're definitely going to want to know how much it actually costs to move somewhere. And that is what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be going all in detail about what it actually costs to live in the Tampa Bay area. What's up everybody, my name is Grant and this channel is all about what it's like to live, buy, sell, and invest in real estate in the Tampa Bay area. And if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, make sure you subscribe for more weekly content just like this. If you ever have any questions or are interested in making the move, don't hesitate to reach out. My information will be linked down below. And without further ado, let's jump right into this video. The average cost of a home in the Tampa Bay area is now around half a million dollars. And though that may seem expensive, the average home cost in America is 430,000. So right now we're currently not too much higher higher than the national average for purchase price. And let's say you were interested in buying a home for half a million dollars, you're looking to make the move to the area. The realistic cost to buy that house is going to be roughly 10% for the down payment and then another two to 3% for your closing cost. So of course you could put a little bit less down because there are different programs or different lenders to where you could potentially put only 5% down or even three to three and a half percent. But realistically on average on a half million dollar home, it's probably gonna cost you around $50,000 out of pocket to close on that home. So in Tampa, you can roughly get a 1,000 square foot apartment for roughly almost $2,000 in total. Currently, the national average for rent right now is around $1,300, and the average asking price for current rent in the US is around $1,900. And that's with single family homes averaging around $2,000 a month, with a typical apartment costing you around $1,700 a month. The average property tax rate in Florida is around 0.98%, while the US national average is 1.08%. So Florida's property tax is actually 0 0.10 less than the national average. And counties vary, and different counties are gonna have different average property taxes. For example, in Pinellas County, the average property tax is 0.91%. In Hillsborough County, the average property tax is 1.09%. Hillsborough County is where Tampa is actually located, and usually this is going to be the most expensive. There is what's called a homestead exemption for if you buy a property and you live in the home, you'll be able to get a discount on your property taxes if you claim that that is your homestead. Essentially what they'll do is knock down either twenty-five dollars or $50,000 off of your assessed property value so you then pay less in your property taxes. Home insurance is gonna cost you roughly around 0.5% of the property's purchase price. On average, I would say if you purchase a $300,000 home, then for the most basic of insurance, it's probably gonna cost you between $1,500 to $2,200 per year. But that is not including flood insurance. Flood insurance is something extra you will have to pay for in the Tampa Bay area if you end up buying a property within a flood zone. That's extra home insurance because you are in a non high elevated area so you have a higher risk of flooding so that's a common issue in the tampa bay area probably 40 to 50 percent of properties that you'll be looking to buy are going to be in a flood zone especially because we are so close to the water so you'll definitely have to watch out for that if you're looking to save a little money when you're buying your house the average cost for flood insurance is around 700 dollars a year right now in florida the utilities are very similar to the u.s national average in our area with the average total utilities costing a little bit above $300, right around $312. And those utilities would include your basics, which would be your electric, your water, your gas, and cable, which is pretty standard for the US average. But something you would definitely possibly have to pay for is pool maintenance. Obviously, you can have a pool anywhere in the US, but it is very popular in the state of Florida and the Tampa Bay area because it stays so warm all year round. Oftentimes, a lot of homes have pools and they don't necessarily need to be heated. So, but what you will need to do is make sure that they are maintained 
So the average cost for pool maintenance in Florida and the Tampa Bay area is gonna be around $75 to $125 per month. And that would include the cleaning out of the pool as well as changing and upgrading the chemical. Let me know in the comment section down below how much it costs for some of these items in your area so we can compare. And make sure you subscribe for more weekly content just like this. Let's get back to the video. Lawn care is gonna cost right around $50 to $100 per month, depending on the season. During the summer months, oftentimes your grass is actually gonna to need to be cut uh, almost once a week with it raining almost every single day and it's sunny every single day somehow. And then during the winter months, you'll probably only need it cut maybe once a month. So it's gonna range depending on the season, but it's gonna cost you between $50 to $100 per month averaging about 25 to 30 dollars per mo uh, for like the average standard sized lot then pest control which is very popular in the area because it is florida we are the capital for all the bugs in the world especially cockroaches mosquitoes ants things like that so oftentimes people are going to want to pay for pest control and that's going to be anywhere from 25 to 50 dollars per month and that pays for someone to come to your house uh, once or twice a month to go around the home and essentially spray uh, bug killer and uh, bug protectant around your windows, your doors, your entire house, things like that. And speaking of cost of living in the Tampa Bay area, the average household income in the Tampa Bay area is right around $60,000. So even though it may seem pricey in different areas, I would say overall, we're looking very similar to the national averages and just $60,000 household income will help you be able to live in this area very comfortably, I'd say. Which is crazy because of all the amenities that are in this area specifically. And there are tons of jobs available in the Tampa Bay area. So if you were thinking about making the move, I wouldn't be too worried because there are lots of jobs available especially now. The average cost of gas in Florida is currently around 320 a gallon. And then compared to the national average, it's very similar. The national average is 3.216. So it's very similar to the national average cost of how much gas actually is compared to other places that are still four to $5 per gallon, like California currently. It will cost you money when you move here to get your cars registered. That is not the same for every single state, but when you move here, each individual that moves is going to have to sign up to get a brand new license plate and apply, and that's gonna cost $225 for your plate, for your initial plate. Then it's gonna cost $28 per year, every single year to keep your car registered. For car insurance, it's definitely pretty pricey, especially in our area, in the Tampa Bay area, and Florida in general. The average car insurance rate in Florida is around $1,900, which is about 30% more than the national average. And there's several factors to why Florida is so much more expensive, such as the severe weather, and a ton of busy roads in the area, essentially. I currently pay around $300 a month for two different cars, so that seems to be a very fair rate. So essentially, I'm paying right around that $1,600 to $1,800 per year each car. The food cost is consistent with the national averages, and there's a sales tax in Florida that's gonna cost you about 7% for most items you buy, but there are a few items that are exempt, such as prescription drugs and a lot of groceries and different household items and long-term residential leases and seeds and fertilizers. If you guys are interested in making the move to the Tampa Bay area, please don't hesitate to reach out. My information will be linked down below. We can talk and then we can decide whether or not it might make sense for us to work together, whether that be now or in the future. But with that being said, thank you you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.